Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Pull the Stick Out, where we enjoy movies as entertainment. We don't take them so freaking personal. Uh, emails, Andrew says, I'm with you. I love the new Ghostbuster movie and anyone hating on it without seeing it, well, there's a word, oh, okay, there's word mother, go, uh, there's a couple of words, suck it. Okay, Andrew, you like the movie, you watch the podcast, I can only say the reason you like the movie, very intelligent. And I can only say, probably a gorgeous man. All right, a, a specimen among specimens. Uh, Bill says, I've seen you hate on DC movies like Batman v Superman, but nothing sucks more than Iron Man 3. You can't have truly, truly swear on a Bible like that movie. All right, well, first off, I tried to touch the Bible once and it got really hot. I don't know, maybe if it was on a stove or something. You know what? You're on. Next week, Iron Man 3. All right, let's get to Hot Rod. Hot Rod's the story of this kid. He lives in a small town, and he wants to be more than than he can be, you know? So he wants to be a stuntman, but he prefers to do his training on his own. So has Isla Fisher, my wife, who he falls in love with. Who hasn't fallen in love with, like, the girl that you can't have because uh, she's dating, like, you know, the town douchebag, and you're like, come on, Karen, I gave you those flowers and hanging my love and your cheerleading practice, but you never even talk to me because, no, Brad's more important than me. Look, this movie is made for people who grew up in the 70s and the 80s. You know, you, you were jumping your bike off a curb and you got about two inches of air, but screw it. It was cool because it was air. And let's face it, the Footloose montage alone is worth watching this movie for. Highly recommend Hot Rod. Hot Rod had low ratings on Rotten Tomatoes, but stop going to, to websites that hipsters like to say negative things on just to see their name in print. Go we'll see what you like to see. All right, that's it for me, and I will see you next week with Iron Man 3. Hey, here's some bonus footage. I saw Magnificent Seven with Denzel and Chris Pratt. Totally worth seeing. I took my kids to go see it. It's so much fun to finally watch a movie that is not highly political. It's not highly religious. It's not trying to preach on you. There's not a lot of CGI blowing up in your face. It's just good old-fashioned Western. And for those people that they don't like reboots, <laughs> they do a lot of things from the original. They, they say there's like a few things you're like, oh, yeah, I remember that. It's really enjoyable. We all had fun. You know, and of course, you're going to walk out of the theater. Dun, 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 d